Hi, welcome to another video. We roll at Arc Linux from often the inputs of users. So here is Breakfix asking here, is it possible to give termite command prompt, username, etc. a unique color? Yes, there's no problem. There's no problem, you can do that. So this is what we do. We listen to the users. We change sometimes the ISO because of it. And we make tutorials and articles because you ask it. What did I do? So you go to Google, you type in something like, let's see, beautiful bash prompt is a good one, or the generator, useful bash prompts, power line bash, all good. Or you combine the word PS1 theming, maybe. I never typed that in. PS1 is, of course, also a computer. So Linux PS1 bash narrows it down. So bash it, bash it wiki, little things you can see. And that's probably what you want this line here to have a different kind of color or even a different kind of look. It's make it more attractive. So understanding bash, all these um, slashes, you see the user and you see the host name and the working directory, etc. etc. So a lot of elements you can use. Custom prompt in bash. Easy bash prompt generator. There are lots of things to check out. So there are a few open. So I want to point you to the net and go look for your own um, elements that you need. So here's a, for instance, on Cyber City, you have a complete list of elements that you can use, all kind of uh, codes that will give you the host name or a new line and a carriage return and so on. But basically what you do once you see something in here you say hey that's something i'd like or like to change it's almost 80 percent okay it's nice you have this line that you can have here ps1 you say okay let's copy paste this thing over haven't done this yet and then you open your own bash rc so bash rc is now filled with a lot of ps1s so i've been testing and control v is another ps1 so this is just a variable this means He's filling it in and it's overwriting and overwriting and overwriting and the last one is going to count. So line 21 is going to be applied. So when I save this thing and I ask for the terminal, we have a different look. So this is a new prompt with different codes, color codes and so on and so on. So here's my user, I think, uh, the user is there and so on, you know. So we have lots of codes and, and color codes in here. 33M is a color code. And we have this, um, M, how do you say, um, add sign, that's it in English, an add sign. And then the coloring of the add, add sign must be in here somewhere. So 33M seems to be yellow, right? 31M has another color, it's red, it's Eric. And then we have this, this line. 32M is this thing, I think. So that's how you define each element with a color. And you have a long list. Even I delete some stuff. So if I say, let's not look at this line. So deleting 21. Oh, that's too much. Delete, save, Control Alt T. Then you have the last one. So let's delete some stuff here. What we're looking at now is this bunch. No, not this one, that one. So if the user is uh, not root, then you have this. If user is root, yeah, then you have this, and otherwise it's this color. So I think we're in line 19. So we have this kind of look, all right? So deleting some more, and we are going to this look now. So just copy paste from the net. I did not do anything, it's just copy paste. So this comes from the Arch Wiki. That's a command you can put in there. So this is my free memory. And then a prompt. Okay. Just copy paste, put it in there, bash RC, save Ctrl Alt T. This is line 13 that's kicking in. Also a nice one. Copy paste it from the net. Really don't know anymore where. It's just, it's in there, it's out there. You need to, wear, to, to know what to copy and then 
copy paste it in bash rc ctrl alt that's this line line 12 is a look you can start deleting stuff until you like it let's start with something that you're happy with 80 percent and then we have this line and this is then again the standard line so our line very simple very basic and you just so the user this is, says it all user uh, this add sign then the h h arc linux iso builder so the name of the host name and then the working directory which is root and a dollar sign and a space and that's it so if you don't want a space just do this save go ahead and then you see that it's a little bit closer you see so it's it's um straightforward i would say what websites were open as well so that's one of them so a lot of coloring codes that you can find online um bash rc generator is here there's another generator which uh, makes also the color so if you add stuff in here you see what you'll get and um, time with seconds seconds with it and a new line then and then maybe you get the directory i don't know so new line here let's see if it works like so so you have here directory days in the second line and maybe some some dashes some lines there you go so uh, websites where you can find your stuff of course arch linux has its own wiki bash prompt customization and i copy pasted something about the memory earlier on but if you scroll all the way down some coloring codes as well some definitions everything is here and here as well some references to go to the color schemes collection and sample prompts liquid prompts and we have also our own prompt which is a power line prompt which is going to look like this then this look here and it's all explained here on the video and on the article so a lot of possibilities for you um basic thing i did was just copy paste stuff from the net so control uh, y y y well, what is happening here like so everything is there again so all of these prompts are coming from the net i did not write one of them i copy pasted it and it needs to be called ps1 that's it all right enjoy finding out new stuff on the net and see if you like it and then change it by changing the code all right cheers